How's it going guys? To start off this video, I'm going to be buying this 85 McKinnon for 1k coins and showing you that basically I just bought a 90 overall hut card, or I think he's actually a 91 for a thousand coins. So if you guys are wondering how I did that, as you can see here we have the 91 overall Ice Nathan McKinnon set, you need the 85 McKinnon which we just bought, and a gold collectible. And if you guys didn't know this, we actually just finished the hut Christmas rewards, or uh, whatever they're called, the hut Christmas lights, I'll show you guys in a second. As you can see there, current reward, 10 gold rare players, 5 gold collectibles, a 92 overall Christmas legend card, plus an 86 plus player. Also guys, if you're wondering whether or not you'll qualify for the Christmas light rewards, you most likely will. All you had to do was simply sign into HUT during the month of December, and as you can see below that, next reward, all rewards achieved. So, it's guaranteed we're getting 5 gold collectibles. I actually thought we might be getting a carbon, just because they wouldn't want everyone to be trading in these gold collectibles to get the ice players, but um, it turns out we're getting the gold collectibles, you're getting 5 in total, so you can go and do 5 of these ice sets, and basically get 5 90 plus players for pretty much nothing. Like, I just got the McKinnon for 1k, I'll show you guys how cheap some of the other ones are, and probably just some of the ones that are going to be the best to get. Take Johnny Gaudreau for instance, his ice card's a 93, his base card's an 86, so what you're really looking for is little cards that got jumped a lot, as their base card's going to be a lot cheaper. is a pretty good example, he's looking to be a bit expensive, he's an 86, he's got really good uh, skill stats, but we'll see how cheap we can get one for here, so uh, cheapest looks to be like 6.5k I think there was one. Uh, yeah, 6,600. So still, 6,600 coins, we get a 93 overall Ice Johnny Goudreau. Like, I'm going to buy this right now. I think that's a pretty good price for a 93 overall card, especially one with as good offensive stats as Goudreau. And I think it's actually just a decent buy, looking at the price of the rest of the Johnny Goudreau cards on the market. You can see there's also an 89 Ice Monahan and an 88 Mike Smith. Now, personally, guys, you're getting a free gold collectible. I would go all out, try and get a 90-plus player. If you can't, though, I would definitely not buy anyone that's Ice card isn't at least an 88. Uh, the 87 Ice cards really aren't worth anything, so you're kind of wasting your gold collectible. You'd be better off just saving it for something else. But I think 88's like the gray area. Maybe it's worth it, depending who it is. Like a Mesnikov might be. Um, an 88 Mike Smith, for instance, though, is definitely not. And all your 89-plus should be worth it. Uh, trading the gold collectible in for so some other cards I think you could probably get for cheap and then, like I said get that easy 90 plus player uh, You have Corey Crawford here 90 overall goalie his base cards an 85 So he actually only grows by five but Crawford's not that popular of a goalie uh, at least on his gold card You can get his ice though. He's a 90. We'll see how much it's gonna cost us uh, So 1k we can get him for 1k just like McKinnon like I said, that's an absolute steal. The market isn't so bad where a 90 overall goalie is only worth 1k. There's actually another one there, so I'm just going to keep buying them. I really think that these cards are going to go up in price. Also, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but a big reason why I think these cards are going to go up in price is because I believe the gold collectibles will be untradeable. Um, last year, the Christmas Mike Richards was untradeable, so the Christmas card this year will probably be untradeable, especially since like everyone's going to have it anyways. And it would make a lot more sense for the gold collectibles to be untradeable and kind of like promote people to do sets with them other than just having like the market flooded with gold collectibles selling super cheap. I don't think they do that, especially at five each. That would just absolutely ruin the gold collectible market. I, like, I'm like i 99% sure um, all the cards we're getting will be untradeable. Uh, so looking through here, you got New York Islanders. I know Josh Bailey has a card, 89, but I think his base is very low rated. Yeah, his base is an 83, so he might be actually a really good one to do. I doubt his card costs a lot, so you could easily get a very cheap 89. Four on the market. 750. So I mean we just paid 750 coins for an 89 overall card with two synergy points. I'll buy the other one there for a thousand just to have them. I suggest like I said you guys do the same. I think especially after this video goes up a lot of people will be buying these cards. Should I buy this one for 1200? Why not? Um, I think this is a good strategy. Again I could be wrong. Uh, one thing that would kind of ruin this is if those gold collectibles are tradable. If you guys want a really cheap option you could trade it here sign for like 700 coins. Um, there's even one for 650 there. Might as well buy this. Maybe I turn into the 88, maybe I don't, but I'm sure a lot of people want to do that. They already have the gold collectible, paying like a thousand coins to do that for them. Obviously, it's like a no-brainer. Um, another option, I think, would be Giroux. Uh, his base card's an 86, and his ice card's pretty good. Like, Giroux's base card's 6, so the ice card's just even better. I know Giroux was selling super cheap, I'm not sure if he still is. Uh, yeah, there's 45 of them on the market, and you can get him very, very cheap. Like, 1290 there. Uh, I'm looking through, that's probably the cheapest one. I think there was one for like 13. Yeah, so 1290 was the cheapest one. I'm gonna go buy that right now. So we just got a 90 overall Giroux uh, for 1290 coins. Again, that's just insane. I mean, the McKinnon we got was 91 for a thousand coins, but I kind of started the video with that because I didn't want him to go away. Uh, that was an absolute steal. Uh, you also have Voracek. He's a 90 now. He wasn't 85. And as you can see, we can buy him for like 1200 coins as well. So, uh, another one though is uh, Braden Shen. So his base card is also 84. Ice card's a 90. So only a plus six. Um, but if he's a lot cheaper than Schwartz, I mean. 
you're getting one overall worst player for much cheaper. Uh, so yeah, we can, we can buy him for like a thousand coins. Again, I think that's a no-brainer. Braden Shen, 90 overall for 950 coins. Like, you can't beat that. And lastly, guys, I just want to show you a couple of Tampa players. So as you can see here in a Mesnikov, 83 overall, so obviously not that high rated. Uh, I just bought one here for 700 coins, and his ice card's an 88. So like I was saying, 88 is kind of a gray area, but Nemestikov actually has sick offensive stats, and he's obviously playing really well right now in that top line for Tampa with Stamkos and Kucherov. Um, so what was that? 600, 700 coins for his 88. I think it's an absolute steal. Um, Vasilevsky as well, he's a 91, base card 84. He got a plus 7, so his base card's actually lower than Crawford's. Ice card is even higher. Um, we'll see here what he's selling for, so... Uh, cheapest one actually buying now is 5600. You can see I have a bid on one. Even though Vasilevsky is kind of expensive right now, there are a ton of other options. Which is basically what I was trying to show you guys. Um, you get five gold collectibles. You just have to find five deals on gold rare players who have ice cards. I feel like a lot of people haven't kind of put the dots together yet and realized, you know, five free gold collectibles with the ice sets out for the next 30 days. Uh, you can just buy the base card and get whatever ice cards you want for free. Um, if they did put this together, I feel like these cards would be going for a lot more than they are. They kind of have gone up a bit, so maybe some people have clued in, but not as much as I think they should have. Also, guys, another option to you if you like your team, don't want to do the ice player set for whatever reason, is to actually just save up for a carbon collectible. In case you didn't know this, 10 gold equals 1 carbon. So you're already halfway there after the Christmas light rewards. And I'm sure, you know, you might have one or two gold collectibles seen around that are untradeable from like a division reward or something like that. So you could go buy three, turn into a carbon for the price of three gold collectibles. Um, you could also just kind of wait until you get the next five. And like, again, you have a carbon collectible for much cheaper. And that's about it for the video, guys. As you can see there, the Christmas lights actually end tomorrow, January 3rd. That's not when we're receiving our rewards. Um, as you can see here by this tweet, we received them on January 8th. So you have a lot of time to just kind of work the market, try and find some steals on gold players. You know, have really high rated ice cards, get those guys cheap. And then once your rewards come in, you're basically getting that free 90 plus. You're laughing and uh, you can either keep it, play with it, or sell it for a nice profit. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please do that thumbs up. Also guys, if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that. On the road to 100K, we love your help. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.